Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing how to make and use uh, wooden crates, metal crates, and shipping containers. Uh, I see a lot of questions about how to use the shipping container, so I figured I'd cover all of these in one shot. Um, now this tutorial I'm not doing in creative like I normally do, I'm doing it in uh, just regular survival. And that's because it's hard to make some of these things we're going to do work in creative just in the way that creative is set up. Um, if you find the video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click that like button. But most importantly, please remember to hit the subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay, so I built this in just my regular world. As you can see, it is way over there. And that's the world I'm working on currently. But I put together a little standard platform. Um, first things first, uh, to make this work, you are going to need... Uh, for at least the shipping containers, and some of it, you're going to need some form of storage interface. So for this video, I'm going to be using simple storage, um, but there are other that will work. So uh, first things first, we're going to make a wooden crate. And a wooden crate is just a chest with six wooden planks. That's it. Now for a metal crate, you take one of the wooden crates you just made and six iron plates. Okay. And then for a shipping container, you take one of the metal crates we just made. We go ahead and we take seven blocks of iron and one iron bars, and that gives you a shipping container. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start with just some wooden crates here. And we'll grab that, we'll grab that, and we'll grab some cobblestone. So let's just say you want to drop down a wooden crate. If you right click on a wooden crate, it will take the stack of item that you put into that crate. As you can see, there are 64. Okay? Now, left-clicking on that will give you all of those back in, or one stack. Okay? So, very simple way to do that. Now, if you just tap it real quick, you just do, you can pull one, or you can pull the whole thing. Very simple. So, you can have a whole bunch of these uh, to hold individual uh, items. Uh, this is a really great storage uh, setup, very early game, before you have a lot of the more advanced components to go into the better storage set works, uh, before you have the type of iron to really get into the um, uh, filing cabinets and such. Uh, so again, great way to take those. Okay, so there we go. So now if we want to we go ahead, we can break that. And now if we set it here and we use a storage link cable, to connect it to simple storage. And if you're not sure how to use or build simple storage components, I will link a tutorial showing a simple storage setup um, at the end of this video. All right, so now that we have that in there, as you can see, I slapped that 64 on there. So there is a stack of cobblestone inside and you can put multiple stacks. So let's go ahead and grab us a couple more. Um, put another stack. In the stack, you see it's 64 times 3. It is possible to increase the amount these will hold through some additional add-ons, but uh, this will hold a bunch. So now we go into our simple storage. Clear that out. You can see we have 192 cobblestone. So I can take it out, put it back in directly from here. So if I take it out, now I see it says only 64.2. Put that in, now 64 times 3. So the storage network will let you access all of the different crates that you have connected to your storage network. Okay? So let's take all those out. Now, we'll break that. Now, a metal crate works the exact same way. Right. Metal crate there. Go ahead and put our cobblestone on it. Works the exact same way. A uh, metal crate will hold a larger amount of items than a wooden crate will uh, without any of the add-ons. But for using it, putting items in and out, or for taking them in and out of your storage network, it's the exact same process. All right, so we take those out. All right, so very, very simple. Now the big one and the one that we get the most amount of questions about is going to be a shipping container. Okay, so a shipping container, when dropped, as you can see, is much larger, much bigger there. All right, so let's go ahead and break that real quick. So let's break that again. We're going to move that. In order to get this to work, we're going to move it up a space. There we go. Uh, so have it connected to the back end here, which is how it's kind of set. So when you right click on a shipping container, you'll see that there are slots. 
If you try to put cobblestone or something in there, it's not going to work. Because a shipping container is designed to hold other containers. See what I did there? I put a, one of the wooden crates, the metal crates we were looking at before. So we'll take that metal crate back out. But let's do some wooden crates. We got some more. So let's go over here and we'll right click on that. And we're going to put in a bunch of those. So now, when we go ahead and we put our cobblestone in our storage network, one of these crates will be holding that cobblestone. But now, let's go ahead and grab some gravel and some sticks here. We put sticks in and gravel. You can see now I have access to all of those. This wooden crate is holding cobblestone, this one's holding sticks, and this one's holding gravel. So the whole purpose of a shipping container is to combine a bunch of other of your wooden crates or metal crates, um, or even the wooden barrels or metal barrels, and that's to allow you to, number one, take up less space to, to connect a single unit to your storage network. So now I have in here, as you can see, what, we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times three. You got 27 containers that you can put in there in what would normally be eight blocks worth of space is what your shipping container takes up. So that allows you to store a whole mess of items and you can take them out specifically if you want to do that. If you want to get access to just one of those crates, you can totally do that. And when breaking a crate will not normally knock the items out of it. In this situation, it pulled out one just because I clicked on it poorly. But <laughs> normally, it's not going to take those items out. So you can take it in and out as you need and move them around or even prioritize which crates are inside of your shipping container. But that's all that's really required to use those different uh, shipping items. Um, if you go into your advancements under the age of storage, you'll see that there are advancements for creating a uh, chest, wooden crate, metal crate and shipping container. Uh, same with the wooden barrel, metal barrel, and shipping container. It all works kind of the same process. Of course, the barrels are used to hold liquids, whereas the uh, crates are used to hold solids. Um, so there we go. That's going to do it for this tutorial here. It's kind of give you a basics on how to make and use those items. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please throw those down in the comment. And I'd be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, or if you have any recommendations for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, always looking for other recommendations. Uh, but that's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.